Hello. So uh, this is a uh, tutorial about using the uh, FLTK uh, GUI framework uh, through Rust using the Rust bindings. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, just uh, use the uh, native uh, command tools and uh, just go to the directory quickly. Uh, tutorial. Or go new. Then up, so yeah. and uh, okay, so uh, we're here and we we'll start code. <coughs> so, this is the uh, repository. Uh, the uh, crate itself is uh, present on crates.io, and uh, there are instructions on how to get started. So uh, We'll use the uh, FLTK bundle since there is a bundle for uh, Win64. So uh, go here, dependencies, FLTK version. We'll be using version uh, uh, 0.0.7.12. Uh, and uh, so let's go ahead and uh, just check the uh, that we're using the uh, stable MSVC. Okay, and cargo one. So the repo also uh, offers a bit of uh, some examples of uh, example applications using the uh, the crate, and uh, we'll be creating uh, a small application, uh, hello world, and then just open the uh, docs for the. Uh, itself also. <clears throat> so uh, it's built in about one minute. Uh, let's check the uh, one of the uh, examples to see if it works. So let's take the hello button example for example. So it shows a button. So let's start from uh, scratch and uh, we'll just use FLTK uh, and import all the important modules if you check the uh, documents for FLTK. So these are the available modules which contain all the widgets and the uh, special widget types. You can see, for example, here all the widgets available in FLTK, uh, the image widgets, buttons, uh, the radio button, toggle button, round button, etc. And all of these are within the modules themselves. So, uh, for example, if we take a button, you can see all these uh, structs that are available through FLTK, and uh, uh, also all uh, widgets basically. Uh, uh, have the uh, implement the widget ext uh, or trait basically. So uh, these are the available uh, methods for each widget, and then you can, uh, of course, every class of widgets has its own also uh, a special. Uh, uh, Methods, for example, uh, these, this is the widget trait, for example, and then we have the button trait or buttons provide these extra methods and so on. So we have basically the uh, the widgets uh, trait, the windows, evaluator table, menu, etc. These are all traits that are made available through the uh, FLTK crate. So let's create a uh, main function. Uh, so all uh, FLTK applications start with the uh, abstract uh, app default. And then uh, if we wanted to create the window, we we'll use the window uh, struct. And you can notice that uh, all uh, uh, widgets have basically the same constructor. 
<coughs> new, uh, which takes an X coordinate, a Y coordinate, a width, and a height, and a title. So, for example, uh, if we say 100, 100, and uh, 400, 300, and a title window. And uh, since window actually uh, implements the uh, group trait, you would have to call window end. That means that any uh, widgets uh, created within, in between window begin and window end are actually uh, children of the window and uh, their lifetimes are managed by the window. So when the window is destroyed, the widgets are also destroyed. And then we'll call it show and app run and wrap. So if we try to run this, <coughs> you get a window with a window uh, uh, title. We change it, for example, me uh, or something. You can see that the uh, the uh, title changes. You can also change the default location of the uh, window. Oops. And uh, it's a bit further from from the uh, borders of the of the screen. Uh, there's also a uh, another constructor which takes the uh, which creates a default uh, window, for example, or a default widget, and then uh, can take uh, it has these uh, methods uh, which return self and. Uh, they basically, it's a builder pattern uh, to uh, precise, for example, the location and the size of the uh, widget. So uh, the window, for example, uh, trait uh, has a nice uh, method called center screen if you need uh, to uh, show the window in the center of the screen. So default, for example, the size, uh, let's say 400. 300 and uh, center screen so you can see that the, win the window appears in the center of the screen you can also give it a title so with uh, title or with label and <coughs> And you can see the uh, title of uh, the window. So, actually, also, uh, FLTK offers uh, different themes called schemes in uh, FLTK. So, app, these are available in the app module, app scheme. So, we'll show the GTK scheme. So, uh, we'll probably need to uh, <coughs> restart uh, Visual Studio Code. So it's not showing since there are no other widgets uh, in the window, but uh, we'll show some comparison later. So I'll just uh, start restart this <coughs> to get the uh, syntax, uh, the auto completion from uh, REST Analyzer. So let's, for example, add a uh, button. So let me button. Uh, let's. Uh, Button, button, yeah. And then uh, let's give it a location of uh, so it's uh, 400, uh, let's say uh, 60, 300, or 200, and uh, the width 80, 40, and the label of the button, for example, button. So this is the uh, button, for example. For now, it doesn't do anything. So uh, if we ch change the uh, the scheme, so uh, since I was telling you about the schemes, it's in the app module. And uh, if you go to the uh, app module, <coughs> you can see the uh, app scheme. 
there are basically four schemes base, plastic, GTK, and clean. So let's compare these. Base is the base uh, uh, um, scheme for uh, FLTK, which is basically plain old FLTK, and uh, GTK. As we've seen, it's a bit more rounded, uh, has different shading, plastic. It has a different appearance, okay, and the gleam. It's a bit more uh, gleamy, I can say. <coughs> so uh, let's now, uh, for example, uh, try to change some colors of the window. So we we'll use the GTK scheme, uh, so I'll give it some uh, a bit of uh, theming. So usually I try to uh, add theming uh, like separate separately. Uh, so let's say we're going to set color. So basically, uh, FLTK has uh, its own uh, color uh, colors. You can say it's in the enum uh, uh, module. So these are the available colors. To, uh, GTK and it, al it also accepts uh, hex colors for example uh, so let's try for example uh, we've already uh, hung, tried white so this is a white window and the uh, uh, let's give uh, the button a uh, different color for example but set color and let me check Okay, so we have a uh, completion. So let's say uh, cyan, for example. I've never seen it, so. Yeah, I should change this to me. Okay, not too bad. And so let's take this, for example. And use the uh, from U32. You can also give it RGB values. So uh, let's uh, just add 0x. So basically, it takes the color of the, uh, the hex value for the color. Uh, just note that the uh, colors that uh, FLTK can render aren't always. Uh, an exact replica of the color that you get uh, for the uh, HTML color uh, since it has uh, some limited capabilities when it comes to colors and drawing. So uh, let's add now uh, some uh, event handling for example for the button. So there are multiple ways to handle events uh, with the FLTK. Uh, the, uh, the easiest way is to, through the uh, set callback method. It takes a box to a closure. So let's change the, uh, the label of the window, for example. When label, set label, put so the uh, run this. So if we click the button, you can see that the uh, label changed. Uh, another thing, uh, uh, FLTK allows the uh, resizing of windows, and usually uh, all the uh, children widget are resized uh, accordingly. So let's say when make resize all true. So this can be resized. You can, you can see the, uh, the button uh, changes uh, its size as well. So uh, if we, uh, we can also change the uh, font of the button, for example. So let's say the uh, theme set label font. And uh, FLTK also offers uh, different fonts by, uh, by default. And you can also load uh, system fonts. 
So let's take, for example, uh, screen bold. You can see the, uh, the list of fonts uh, using the uh, in the documentation, for example, and it's also in the enum uh, module. So you can see fonts, and these are the fonts available through FLTK. So the other method of uh, handling uh, events uh, is through uh, handling them in the uh, event loop uh, and using uh, emitters or uh, channels in this example. So let's go ahead and create a channel with a uh, sender receiver and uh, it's in the uh, app module channel. And let's just send a uh, 932, for example. And here, for example, uh, let's go emit. And it takes a sender and a message. So let's say it's, uh, for example, 932, so it's one. And to handle it in the event loop, just delete this and say while app waits and wrap. And we'll match the uh, uh, the receiver's uh, message. So uh, let's say uh, do nothing and that. Oh yeah, basically. Uh, another way to handle events, uh, for example, is through the handle uh, uh, method. So if you just uh, return to the uh, app run uh, unwrap, let's remove the uh, channel. So this also takes a uh, box closure, but the difference is it takes an event, an FLTK event, and we can match the event. Let's close this, and let's just put this to... This uh, expects a... Uh, uh, this is a closure that returns a true or false. False if the event wasn't handled. True if the event was handled. Uh, this lets FLTK know if the uh, event needs uh, handling uh, elsewhere. So uh, just check it's running and uh, handle. Yeah. So this runs. So let's add, for example, an event. Push and uh, let's say uh, when it's pushed, we can change the uh, label of the uh, window and uh, push it. Let's see if this works. And yes, this needs to return a true since it uh, handles the. Uh, uh, the event. So, and I changed the uh, the title of the window. So this is a uh, just a short tutorial on how to uh, handle events uh, using FLTK. Uh, just change this color back to white. Uh, color from And there's an extra parenthesis. So, voila. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and uh, probably create uh, some more uh, examples in the future. Thank you for watching. Bye.